Just posted right here. I'm trying to record this video. Spark plug wires looking all bootleg. But uh, it's too much hassle right now. Can't record a video, but I'm gonna try in a little bit. They're gonna take some people in the ambulance too, so gotta check it out. What's up guys, so in this one I'm gonna be uh, Repainting the lip right here looks pretty bad um, This is where I accidentally hit the, uh, the sidewalk whenever I pull in Up to a curb like at a meter or something After I noticed this I looked at a lot of like cars like random Priuses, Accords, Corollas You know just everybody's car and I always see this scuffed up by people swooping right into a parking spot and so it's just a common city thing and I'm pretty sure if you guys uh, look out for this you're gonna see it more and more unless uh, yours already has it but yeah I'm gonna take off the lip and just clean up all this grime that's underneath there and um, paint the lip repaint it and I'm going to I actually painted this with the paintbrush all this is uh, with base coat and a uh, little clear coat as you can see looks pretty crappy but I'm gonna uh, try something a little bit bold today I'm gonna sand down this with some 400 grit mask up everything lay some base and uh, clear it and try and uh, do a little blend job around here yeah it's gonna be kind of bold never done it before on like a panel like where I'm blending I usually just do a complete panel but uh, blending can be a little bit uh, tricky and uh, I pulled up into my parking spot and I did this right here basically there was a pole up to the wall and I accidentally hit the pole it went too far forward and I have that nice little crack right there but uh, fortunately I could just feather this out put a little clear in there you'll never know little rock chip right there well actually big rock chip rock chip here and uh, all this happens when I do a little traveling um, you know I go out a few hundred miles out and uh, on the highway visit people and uh, this is what happens and the windshield actually got a nice little chip in it too but uh, yeah so I'm gonna end up uh, just making this a little bit better and yeah my first step is actually gonna be to wash this with uh, dishwashing soap and make sure all of the wax sealants and uh, everything is off because the last thing you want to do is actually go off and sand something and uh, repaint it when you have a uh, sealant and the car is loaded lathered in sealant and uh, that's how you maintain a good finish a good gloss but yeah so first step is gonna be to uh, clean it all right so that's how it looks with the lip off Man, I haven't seen it like this in a long time. So much grime and filth. Yeah, it's a lot of buildup right there. I gotta be careful I don't, you know, scratch up anything that I don't want to be uh, repainting. And yeah, I have a little stress mark right there. It's okay. Oh yeah, so gonna be uh, cleaning up all of this stuff right here. And yeah, man, the lip makes it look so much better. That looks awful. But yeah. I don't know what the hell that is, but all this just basically got scuffed from the bottom of this and dirt and grime and everything, but this hides it pretty good. Uh, by the way, this is a $60 eBay lip. It's a Type R replica, and uh, it does a job. And uh, it's a lot more durable than the OEM one, because uh, you could pay uh, four or $500 for an OEM lip just to get it cracked, and they crack pretty easy. And this is just a polyurethane that flexes and stuff and it looks uh, decent, half decent and that's what I'm all about. But yeah, so I'm probably gonna end up uh, doing the lip first and then I'm gonna contemplate a lot about my plan on the bumper because I don't wanna um, you know, ruin it and stuff. 
but yeah, but I'll start out with the lip first. And uh, like always, whenever I'm about to uh, prep something to sand, paint, anything, I always clean it with some just good old Palmolive uh, dishwashing liquid. And this makes sure that everything is uh, clean. And yeah, so, because if it's uh, clean, you're not gonna get any fish eyes or any issues with uh, adhesion and all that. It's gonna be a direct bond to it. But yeah, so this is what I use. You could use Dawn or anything, but yeah, it's pretty cheap too. Okay, so I got everything uh, nice and cleaned up with the uh, dishwashing soap. No wax or nothing anywhere. So I'm gonna just try and, uh, well, my game plan, but I'm not gonna do now. I'm just gonna end up masking around with like a soft edge, just like kind of like feather the, uh, the tape up. Put masking tape over here and just try and keep the repair area right here. And then um, my little hard edge that I'm gonna have around, just try and uh, wet sand that into the existing clear coat. And uh, it'll be kind of cool to experiment with that. And uh, right here is kind of easy because uh, all I gotta do is just feather that out and uh, blow some clear right there. And the same thing right here. And then the license plate is gonna go over, you're not even gonna tell, but right here, it's gonna be a little bit challenging. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna mess with any of this because it's gonna end up getting thrashed anyways by the lip bouncing up and down and going up every time you go inside of a, a drive-through or a driveway, I mean. But yeah, so I got this nice and cleaned up and uh, I'm gonna sand it, some 320 grit, wet sand and uh, primer paint it. All right guys, so this is how it looks. Uh, I guess you could say prepped, but it's not really how I want it. But uh, it's just gonna have to do. And uh, just scuffed it down. I didn't take off all the original uh, finish that was like um, bead blasted basically from like sand and stuff, but I'm just gonna primer a paint over this because it's gonna get thrashed anyways, being a daily. But yeah, so that's how it looks for now. And I kind of want to get started on this, but while I paint this, and while this is drying, I could uh, prep that over there. But yeah, so hopefully I have enough primer. I'm just gonna like wing it on this one. And uh, I'll probably just put like one coat of primer over everything. And we'll see how it looks. Dad's tan is like almost dead. Yeah, this thing has like no pressure. I'm only looking for one light coat anyways, so. Let me finish this up. That's basically all I'm gonna put exactly like that. Just to get a little adhesion, let this cure 100% and uh, blow some base on it. It'll look pretty good at the end. All right guys, so waited about 20 minutes, fully cured. I'm gonna be using a Spray Max base coat and uh, shoot it up real quick. All right, so that's the first coat. It's gonna look kind of whack because it still has a lot of little indentations from like rock chips that you can see, but definitely not going for perfect, just looking for a little shine. Oh yeah. Well, hopefully uh, the clear will fill that stuff in, we'll see. All right guys, so I got it. With base, everything looks good. And uh, I don't have no uh, red streak right there. I gotta make sure I don't get close to the curb. But yeah, so now it's time for a little gloss and it should be good. All right, so unfortunately, I have to get more supplies to paint the bumper because uh, I'm all out. And uh, 
I barely got this done, so I'm gonna throw this on the car. It's a good thing I got the front bumper all cleaned up, so it's gonna match pretty good. Besides all like the chipping clear, but not a bad finish. Way better than before. Can't wait to throw it on. Gonna let it dry up for a few hours and throw it on. All right, guys. So this is it. Uh, all painted up. Looks pretty nice. Such a huge difference compared to before starting to look gray and everything and that scuff is gone right here that definitely definitely looks pretty good just a couple hours and a little paint can make a huge difference so next up I'm gonna actually be uh, repairing the bumper cover right here and uh, should be pretty good. I'm going to take off the bumper and redo the uh, the lights also. Even though I haven't touched them in years, they still look kind of good. But I'm just going to touch them up. I want to try to prevent removing the emblem. But yeah, but besides that, it looks pretty good. That's the video, guys. Please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you on the next one.